Hello Royal Rhea Dealers and welcome to my very first episode of Veganization where you will be following me on my journey towards veganism. How long will it take me? Let's hope it don't take me long. So, I'm going to show you guys how to make vegan breakfast burritos. So, we are going to veganize the breakfast burrito. Hello everybody for today's recipe you will need six blocks of extra firm tofu four rolls of gimme lean sausage um, I left these out so you guys can see what it looks like in the pack it is pretty cool and I can smell it already so this is what it looks like when you take it out of the pack I have some onions and green peppers that I put in the food processor because I ain't feel like chopping it. <laughs> you need some spinach, avocado oil, curry, turmeric, sea salt, and parsley. So let's get cooking, y'all. Let's veganize these breakfast burritos. Okay, y'all. We're gonna start out with the um bell peppers and onions and as you can see it's a little juicy from when I uh, put it in there so what I'm gonna do is pour it over top of this sausage right here I mean if you know it doesn't really matter it's going down the hatch this this is gonna go in there once I saute it for a little bit so if any pieces get in there that's if you choose to do it this way then I would not you know I wouldn't think anything of it so basically part of this is going to go in here and the other part is going to go into the scrambled tofu so there are two parts to this recipe so we're going to start out with a little avocado oil and you got to be careful because this sausage will actually soak up the uh, the oil so we're going to put that in there Okay. Now we're gonna take this sausage and break it up in there. And this part right here, it's not gonna take long. As you can see, this sausage is it's very sticky. Oops, that piece don't get out of way. Okay, so I got all of this in here. Okay. So you want to be careful with this. Matter of fact, I'm gonna switch out my um my spoon and I'm gonna get this wooden spoon right here because if you don't mash this like this throughout the whole process you're gonna have clumps of sausage so I'm going to do this um come up here and get this and look at this see so 
so I'm going to continue to do this. Got some a couple of pieces coming out of the pot. And when we come back, I'm going to show you what this looks like. But make sure, hold on, before we do that, I'm going to add a little bit of sea salt. We'll see you guys when I'm done with this part of my burrito. Okay, y'all. So this is what the sausage looks like. You know, it's it started to stick a little bit. You know, like I said, it soaks up the oil. So now I'm gonna remove this from the pot. From uh, I'm gonna remove this from this pot, and then we are going to begin our tofu scramble. y'all so now that we finished making the sausage now it's time to make the scrambled tofu portion i added it some seasonings that i actually forgot to put on the table so right here of course i got my curry i got my turmeric this is the curry the turmeric onion powder the uh the sea salt this is a garlic and herb um seasoning and this right here is smoked paprika. I had put too much up there, so that's why you see my little fingerprints in there. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> we all human, honey. Okay. Oh, and I had forgot. I can't believe I forgot my better than bouillon veggie base. Oh yeah. yeah. Bomb.com, y'all. That's not a real website. It's just the same. I'm pretty sure y'all know that all. But uh. We're going to turn this on. This is like so exciting. Okay. Ooh, yes. Ain't. Only thing I don't like about cooking on a gas stove, it just stank when you first turn it on. Okay. So, for starters, we're going to start with our avocado oil. I'll pick that up when I finish. Okay. We're going to start with our avocado oil and, you know, I don't got much, so let's just say a well to the last bit until I get some oil. Probably going to be next week, though. But, okay. Okay, so we're going to take our remaining uh, onion and pepper, put it in there. Sizzling as loud as that first one. Okay. So we're going to put that in there. Let's swirl it around. Now, if you saw my um, previous video where I actually showed you guys how I make my scrambled tofu, one of my um, scrambled tofu recipes, then you know that I start off my seasonings in here with the oil and whatever vegetables I have in there because it helps bring that flavor out of them. So I'm going to put that in there. Only thing is you don't want it too high. And I know it, it's a lot of seasoning in here, but this recipe is actually a double batch. So. Oh, my Lord. All right. So as you can see, it's a paste. It's kind of like a paste. So now I'm going to add my better than bouillon into this. All you need is one. I done told y'all what happened to me in the last video I did when I used this. I'm going to put that link in the description box below y'all. So yes. I just started using this stuff but me and this stuff got some history. <laughs> Sealed my lips up like a dag on. Okay. Okay. 
So now with that, I'm going to take one cup of water. I'm going to go grab some hot water from my fountain. I'll be right back. So I got one cup. I only poured about half of it in there. See? Don't get See that? Put that in there. That one cup of hot water. Then you put your tofu in there. And with this tofu, you gotta be quick. So we're gonna dump all this tofu in here now. It's six blocks in here now. Like I said, this is a double batch because I'm actually doing bulk cooking. Because my kids love these. And the last time I only made one batch, they tore this stuff up in a day and a half. <laughs> I was like, my goodness. So you got to be quick with this stuff. You see that? Oh my lord, it's not good. Okay, normally I would add nutritional yeast into this. But, unfortunately, when I went to the grocery store today, um, they didn't have any nutritional yeast in that store. So, I'm going to um, have to purchase it from somewhere else. I'm thinking I'm gonna purchase it from Amazon just like I did my other um my other products. So you know that was disappointing because I really really love that flavor of that nutritional yeast. It really adds a cheesy flavor to this dish. I'm holding this dish just a lot of tofu. Okay. So, now if you see any blocks that's like, you know, too big, because what I did, I just put all the blocks in there, I rinsed them all, put them in there, and I just took my hands and did this in the bowl. So, you know, if you get some that's big, then you just want to break it up kind of like you did the sausage. This smells so delicious. Okay, so now at this point... I'm going to taste it so I can see if I got my seasonings, you know, the taste that I actually want. It's important that you taste your food. Okay. Just told y'all to make a double batch. Okay. Go back in here and put some more hot water in this. Let me put a little bit extra. Put some more in here. Yeah, I'm taking a chance. <laughs> and here it comes up. too because I added water to this you want to be careful when you're working with this kind of stuff because like I said the tofu it soaks up everything like a sponge
I'm going to add a little more onion powder too just because I like that flavor. And some more of the garlic. Then this is, you don't have to do this. This is just what I like to do because of certain flavors that I like. And flavors that I know my children are like, you know, like I said with my scrambled tofu recipes, my children will sit and eat it. The ones who do not like tofu, they will sit and eat this, eat this stuff. Hey, baby. What you want? I'm hmm. going to do with that, Mom. What am I going to do with that? I'm making burritos. Burritos? Yeah. I got Is that it. what you want to see? Uh, I'll just see this. Okay, well go in there. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, he's coming here messing with me. <laughs> okay. So then let me try this again. Try this again. Oh, that's better. That I like. Okay, so now we're gonna put the spinach in there. We're not going to use this whole bag, okay? Oh, yeah, I remember you put spinach in the other ones. Mm -hmm. The ones that I actually put that up on Instagram, I'll show you a pic. So, put that in there and just let that cook down. Then if I feel like I want to add some more, then I'll do it, but, you know, oops. I ain't even finna try to get there with that flame up there like that. Now what you could do, I like to add mines in like this, but what you could do is um cook your spinach with the seasonings. You could do that. But I like doing mine like this. Gorgeous, isn't it? Yep, I like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Baby, go in there. <laughs> Y'all. Put something on TV he like to watch so he can stop coming in his kitchen. Well, I know we already watched Shark Boy and Lava Girl. I am not loves watching it. Shark Boy and Lava Girl again today. I'm girl. I'm just saying he loves Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Every last one of my children love that movie, Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Every last one of them. <laughs> I'm telling you. And Leah, girl, could nobody tell you you wasn't lava girl. <laughs> She'd be all in front of the TV talking about, shh, shh. I'm like, nigga, what you doing? I'm lava girl. <laughs> At least he not wearing boss baby and Moana. Oh my gosh, yes. All these movies, like we love movies in here. Like in my house, we love movies, so. In between homeschooling, we try to watch movies with each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, with all of that, we don't really have time to watch TV like that. So, I'm working on a set schedule where we all can sit down at a certain time and watch movies. And, you know, even if we just sit with the TV off and you know, have Pandora playing and we just sit and talk about our day, what we like, you know what I'm saying? Um, look at this. It's Wilton. Oh, girl. Should I add some more spinach? I want to add some yeah, more spinach, girl. Oh, dang. <laughs> Why my food keep jumping out the pot? Girl, you won't need it because I was in here. 
recording that first time, the darn sauces jump right out the pot. <laughs> I know I said we weren't finna add this whole bag, but I'm finna add this whole bag. <laughs> okay, we cooking in bulk and when it comes to these, I'm telling you, my son don't like tofu and even he eat this. <laughs> yep. He likes scrambled tofu. I try oh, uh, but I don't um I don't give that. Get, I don't give this to my son that often because, you know, he won't eat it. He won't eat it like that, but if it's scrambled tofu, he'll eat it. Other than that, he asking for regular eggs. But me, I love this stuff. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to finish cooking this down. And then I'm going to show you guys how to assemble this and show you what the inside look like because um y'all y'all gonna eat this y'all gonna eat one of these for supper tonight i sure wouldn't mind yeah. <laughs> so it's actually pretty good you know put some fruit on the side when you get up in the morning so we're gonna finish this and show you guys how to assemble this and we'll be back after this hey y'all so as y'all can see it's done my spinach is nice and wilted it's got a little bit more um it's got a little darker because i i did add a little more smoked paprika into it i just i love smoked paprika y'all so i added some more and um now we're ready to assemble i already got my heat off um so we're gonna I'm going to show you how to assemble this burrito and wrap them up. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> okay, y'all. So, we got the tortillas. These ain't all that big. But, baby, they was 10 for 10. So, I got them. Okay. So, you see some of the liquid coming from here. Just stir it on up. Cause that right there is liquid gold, y'all. Hey. <laughs> okay, so you are gonna take a little bit, cause you don't want to overfill it. So you gonna take a little bit and put in there. This nine times out of ten to be for one of the little ones. And then you take the sausage. If y'all don't like them clumps in there like that. Okay. Here, all right. Don't you put your hand. Mine's. Okay, you can get yours <coughs> after I finish putting them all together, okay? Okay. Okay, go watch Boss Baby. I love you. <laughs> oh, he ain't paying me no mind now. <laughs> okay, see, it's all little. This might be his, y'all. Okay. And then, you fold it on here like this. And then you hold it. Isn't that cute? It's small. But you can get the big ones too. And then I just roll them up like this. And then I fold them all up. They don't gotta be perfect, but you know. And then you can have this with like some little uh, fruit, you know. Put you some fruit on the side, and you good to go. So let me show y'all how to do another one. You got my little. I got these little foil things right here, five hundred in a in a box. Got these from BJ's, y'all. One of my favorite stores. Box a little ragged though, but that's what happens when you use stuff all the time. Okay, so okay. I'm gonna show y'all at least two more. Make sure you get it on in the middle, and then you put your 
about your new salsa joint. And you don't even have to do it just like mine. Baby, they can't hear you on that TV. So then you put that on there, and then you do the same thing. Hold it. Like Tuck it in as best you can. I try to keep mine at an angle when I put them in there because of the way I like to fold them. And like I said, it don't gotta be neat. Just make sure it's nice and sealed. Okay. Okay. Get out of my tortilla. I'm gonna get I'ma give you one after I finish, okay? Okay. <laughs> Told y'all he loved these things. <laughs> well, I love you. I love you too, but you, 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 you go watch TV. Come on, he loves me. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> These are the cutest. These ain't as big as the ones that I had put up on Instagram, but I think they are cute. And it's just, I think they the perfect size like this. I actually like them this small. Okay, so I'm going to finish up these. I'm going to finish these up and then we're going to come back and show you how many was made. Okay, y'all. These are the finished product. And as you can see, there's a little bit more left over. That's enough to make about three more um, breakfast burritos. So, all together, this makes 40 three 40 burritos that were made but if i had enough tortillas it would make 43 burritos small burritos like this so make sure y'all try this recipe and please let me know what you think about it in the comments you do not have to use the same seasonings that i used you can you know put your own flavors in there you know what i'm saying either way it's going to be delicious just because you made it Burritos. Veganization complete. Thank y'all so much for watching, Kings and Queens. What will I veganize next? Join me for the next episode of Veganization to find out. Thank you so much for your support. I love y'all to the moon and back. And remember to eat the colors of the rainbow. Have a blessed day.